Hi, my name is Mikkel Lidl Jackson, and in this video I'll be showing off the Tilt Mirror Control Tool version 2.0. If we first open the UI with this brand new icon, we can see that the UI has been updated with a lot of new functions. But let's take it one step at a time. But before we do, let me first show off the tool in action. So what it can do is it can mirror a frame or a frame range with any given naming convention. So for instance, in my case, I got lowercase l and lowercase r as a prefix in my naming convention, but it could also be as a suffix or even in the middle of the name. And default, the naming convention works with uppercase l, uppercase r, lowercase l and r, and elif rt. And if we see the tool in action, we can see here we got the right foot forward, they were like frame 15, we'll go left foot forward and then right foot forward again. And if we just simply flip that, now we'll see the left foot is forward and then right and then left again. And before we get too deep into the range, let's just simply start with the current frame and explain the different controls we can mirror. So if I like select all the controls and just like delete uh, the animation, so I just got this first frames. Then let's try and look at this mirror frame current. So we'll just simply mirror the current frame you have selected. So if I just press flip, it will like flip the entire animation. Then it also got a left to right. Well, we'll just take the left side and mirror that to the right side. So here now the right side matches the left side. And the same with right to left. Now the left side matches the right side. And we can also choose if we just want the middle to just mirror that. Now, if we don't want to mirror all the controllers, we can simply in this controls here, select what we want to mirror. So for instance, if you want the selected controllers to mirror, we can select the controllers we want, and then we can simply just press the operation. So if we just want to flip the upper arms here, we just press flip here. And we can press left to right, it just matches the right side, and we can press right to left. And it doesn't, it knows this is like a pair, so it, all, so it doesn't matter like which controller you have selected, it will like flip the pair controller. And same with the middle, if we select that, like just the middle and like if a middle controller is not select, nothing will happen. And same with like left to right. We can also choose to have like all the not select controllers mirror. So like if you have like, let's just say the arms, we have that selected and we now choose flip now everything but the arms will actually flip. Same if we select the pelvis, and it's like works with the operations. But now a cool thing we can do if we set the controls back to all, we can actually choose where we want to mirror the frame to. So we, as you can see here, that's been like a lock. So that's basically just like locks the mirror, fra the frame we mirror to, to the actual current frame. But if we unlock that, we'll unlock this button over here and we can like scroll forward to like frame 15 and this is like an actual button we can press on and we'll just like put in our actual frame that we are currently on instead of manually typing but that's also an option if you wish to do that but now we have like run the current frame zero and we want to flip it to frame 15 we simply just press flip and now we can see down here we got it flipped over here. And we actually got an animation with it. So we can like go to frame 15. We can say we want to flip that to frame 30. Press flip again. And now it flips back. So we got like an entire animation going. Now where this gets a bit more powerful is with the range. So for instance, if we'd like select the controls and just like delete the things on frame 30. And if we look about halfway from the uh, 0 to 15, we can like lift the foot we want to lift. So like how the foot is lifting, standing. The cool part is we can use the mirror range now. So if we like try and do the range and say, I want frame 0 to 15. And it also got a button. It works with the uh, playback here. So we'll just like set 0 to 15. Oh, sorry, fit 0 to 30. But like if we do 0 to 15, it will like put that in, but you can also just do it manually. And now what I can do is like if we set it to 
to 15. And now we got the foot up here and we want to flip that. Then we can see here on the left foot, now it like has to lift up on the other side. So you only have to like animate half of the animation. I like polish that and make sure, then you can make sure that the wrist also looks like that. And as I showed at the beginning, we can also like mirror the, or like flip the entire range. So like for instance, if we want the right foot to stand forward instead, we can click here, so 0 to 30. And the cool part is if you press on this lock, it will like lock it to the actual uh, from frame range. And if we just press flip here, we'll see instead of the left foot bring forward, the right foot will be forward on the first frame. As a little bit more of a hidden feature, you can actually choose to highlight a range that you want to use as your frame range instead of using the buttons down here. So like if you hover over like any of these, you want to come, there we go. And then you can like see there's like some tooltips that will also say it for you. But like essentially like, let's say we want to like mirror like zero to 30. So now we got like uh, the left foot forward and let's just like say, this is going only to 10. Now we have the current frame selected. However, if we highlight our range, so just like shift and left right on the timeline and press flip. Now, because I didn't have any selected controllers, it gave me an error. So if I go back to all and press flip, then you can see now my right foot is forward. So like you don't have to uh, specify them. You can also just use these. So like, Again, if you just like select 0 to 15, then it will work with like your two frame range. So like if you unlock it and when you press it, I'll just select the last frame here and press flip. It will give you the remaining 15 to 30 frames. Then as you can see, there's also this auto key feature. So basically it's like it turns on the auto key and sets a frame on basically like every frame. So if we take and select all the controllers and then we take on auto key and we say we want zero to 15 and then we want to mirror to 15, we can press flip. And like now it's like auto keyed it. So it's like you get like these exact same frames if you wish to do that. Next up, let's take a look at the options to replace and insert. So basically what the replace does, it takes everything within the two frame rates of 15 to 30, it replaces those keys. Meaning if I set up a bunch of keys in here and I press flip, all of those keys will be deleted. And like now if I like do it again, and like let's just move them, just like get some visual change, very beautiful, and press insert instead. Then I press flip, it will actually like preserve all the other keys. I can like delete this 22 because I was the one from the flipping. And you can see that that frame is being added. However, reverse it now. Maybe it's a bit easier to see you like this. So like if like on the foot, make sure like, oh, we've got nothing over here, except we want this foot to go down like this. So if we press the insert instead, and you can have to zero to 15 and then 15 to 30 and flip that, we can actually see it has preserved our keys we had here, like because it only like inserted the new keys. So here, yeah, which matched like frame 20. So like if we find, delete these and move these up to frame 22, we can see we've got translate set and translate X. But it was like only the translate set that actually had a key on it from this side. So as we can see over here, it's only translate uh, translate set that got a key. But if we go back and press flip, you can see it actually overrides the translate set. However, the translate X is still here because it just inserts a little bit of a warning though. If we have animation layers on it, and let's see, we got a layer here. It got some brilliant, uh, it got some brilliant animation here. And if we now were to like mirror like this entire range, you can see here like on my animation layer, it's actually still like on the left uh, foot. So like the mirror only works on uh, 
it only works on the base animation layer and not on uh, like an uh, anim layer, only the base animation. But that is essentially the new did mirror control tool. Thank you for watching.